Today we're looking at iOS 11 Developer Beta 1 on a second generation iPad Mini. Now uh, because of the small scale of the screen and also the uh, kind of slow horsepower or you know little horsepower of this device, we're not going to be able to really see any of the uh, impressive multi uh, tasking capabilities that you'd be able to see on an iPad Pro, but I'll show you what I've found so far. Now first and foremost you see at the bottom of the screen uh, the new dock and uh, this started off with five apps on the left side here and then the three on the right side of the vertical bar were added by iOS showing the most recent apps I had used and that changes from time to time. I'm going to launch uh, Safari here and uh, we're going to watch Apple World Today reload. Uh, this may take a second simply because this is an underpowered machine. But the one thing that I noticed was that now uh, the scrolling seems to have been fixed in Safari, which is something that Apple promised to do. It just scrolls a lot smoother than it previously did. Now, let's say I want to uh, go to another app. I just swipe up from the bottom of the screen, and there's my dock. If I continue swiping, I get to my app switcher and my control panel. Uh, I really want to just go into the Files app, so I'm going to tap that in the dock, and here we are. Uh, the Files app is somewhat equivalent to the Finder in Mac OS. And as you can see here, as it slowly loads, I have access to all of the many folders that I have in Cloud, uh, iCloud Drive. So I can tap on it to open it up. You can see what's in there. You can create new folders, whatever. Now, at this time, I wasn't able to uh, add Dropbox or Google Drive or any of the other uh, cloud storage uh, solutions that are out there. My guess is that that capability will come in a later beta version. Uh, the new App Store is really kind of different. I'll go ahead and uh, we'll jump over to that. And you can see that uh, new dock really makes it simple to uh, go in and out of things. First thing I'm going to show you here is really something you'd look at later, but it's updates. And you'll notice they now come in two columns. Uh, also, it says in big letters up at the top of this, updates. You know what app or where you are in this uh, particular page. Uh, pretty cool. I love the way this works. One of these has actually been uh, downloaded and it's ready to open. The other is a sticker app uh, from David Lanham. And I have downloaded it, but I haven't loaded it uh, into messages yet. So that's why it's just saying download it. I'm going to tap today and we'll see uh, the new face of the App Store. This is really kind of nice and clean and, and looks good. Uh, We'll look at this article here. The articles come up. They uh, smoothly scroll. You can take a look at uh, full-size images in here of uh, iPhone screens, different things like that. And uh, this particular introduction tells you what's going on. Uh, some of these buttons are animated. For instance, the one here for splitter critters, you can see uh, actually some of the game action and how you go about moving these characters around in the game uh, by slashing at the screen. So that's pretty cool. Uh, but, you know, other apps and different things like that, for instance, we're going to go back to June 5th, Monday, and it's showing our app of the day, uh, which was Waterminder. Uh, maybe they were reminding people at WWDC to drink lots of water. Uh, but we can scroll through, see a wonderful description of the app. It's just a lot cleaner uh, than the old method. And I think that we're going to have a uh, a lot of developers are going to be happy with this. Uh, if we take a look at games, some things look a little bit more familiar. For instance, uh, if I uh, scroll down here, you see a bunch of apps listed, new games we love, uh, kind of a, a large list of them there. Uh, if I go down here to Let's Play, I've got an auto-playing video that comes up. Uh, I've got the sound turned off, but you can see uh, some pretty good action there in that game. Uh, let's go to the next one here, apps. This is you know where you're going to find other apps other than games. And once again, it's uh, just beautiful, very nice looking. Um, you get these, like here they're showing mammals, they're showing all sorts of different things. Uh, great way to get an idea of how an app works or looks. Uh, I already showed you updates. 
probably one of the things you're saying is, wait a second, where are all those links that show me uh, where I can get, uh, you know, change my settings or uh, maybe redeem a promo code? Well, if I tap on this little icon that looks like a human being up here, or, uh, well, vaguely like a human being, you'll notice that uh, I get account information and I can redeem a promo code or I can send a gift. I can even sign out and sign in with a different account. Uh, this also gives me access to my purchased uh, apps from the App Store. So that is, my friends, the uh, App Store. Let's look at the Control Center a little bit more. I uh, showed you that earlier, but uh, what you'll see here is uh, some different things. For instance, uh, we have our uh, brightness, screen brightness, our volume up and down. Uh, we actually have a tool for playing music, and then we have uh, various connectivity items here uh, up at the top. And there are some standard uh, icons that show up in these small buttons, but you can also add and delete from those, and I'll show you how you do that here in a moment. Uh, let's talk about notes a little bit. Uh, I'm going to go to the Notes app, and uh, I'm going to create a new note. And the first thing I'm going to do is show you the handwriting ca uh, recognition capability. I'm going to write this in blue, and I'm going to write this with my finger. And I'm just going to say, this is a note, exclamation point. And now in a second here, you'll notice that it changes. It's actually uh, read that handwriting, written with my finger and uh, went ahead and actually recognized that as text, and it's now searchable. So I can now take handwritten notes in notes and have them uh, searchable by Spotlight. Pretty cool capability. Uh, one of the other things that you can do here, uh, let me get out of that uh, tool. I'm going to see if I can bring up the keyboard here. So some of the things I can add, uh, you know, I can scan a document. Uh, I tried this a little earlier, and unfortunately, uh, it wasn't working quite right for me. I can get things out of my uh, photo library. I can add a sketch. I can do all the rest of those cool things as well. Uh, you can also go in and, of course, add a uh, uh, bullet list. And this is where you start seeing the... Uh, changes to the keyboard, you'll notice that each one of these letters has a uh, symbol or a number above it. If I type an S and then scroll down, you'll notice that I see a pound sign. If I go to F and scroll down, I got an ampersand. Uh, T, scroll down, I got a 5. U, I got a 7. So it's very easy to uh, add these symbols without going to another keyboard. It works out pretty cool there. There's also a new capability, and uh, let's see if I can add one here, to add a table. And uh, the tables are expandable. If I tap on here and I just hit uh, this, say I can add a row, and I can also add another column to this. You can move columns around, back and forth. Uh, that's pretty cool. If I go in and I start typing something, this you'll notice the return key changes to a next button and it just moves the cursor to the next cell. So uh, you can do some really nice formatted tables uh, in that way. Let's go back to the settings app and uh, just some other little changes here that I noticed. First of all, right at the top of the page it says settings! So you know you're in settings when you get there. Control Center, I was going to show you how you uh, add or delete items that are in Control Center. Uh, I had one that was there for Apple TV Remote, and I really don't want that, so I'm going to hit minus, remove it, and it's gone. If I wanted to add something else like, uh, let's say, a button that would automatically launch notes, I just add plus, and I can move that up to the top of my, uh, my set of buttons for Control Center. So nice that you can actually customize that now. One other big change in accounts and passwords, now you used to be able to see uh, or add accounts under mail and passwords you uh, kind of had somewhere else. I don't even recall where they were, maybe under privacy. Uh, but here, if I tap on this, 
uh, you can see that I can add various types of accounts. These can either be email accounts, uh, LDAP accounts, CalDAV accounts, or Mac OS server accounts, which includes a lot of different things. And if I tapped on this app and website passwords button, guess what that does? It'll ask me uh, to authenticate, and then it gives me access to my iCloud keychain. So uh, those are some of the things that I've found over uh, a very short amount of time uh, in iOS 11. We'll be uh, checking more things out and uh, updating you as we get closer to the release date of both iOS 11 and, I'm sure, uh, Mac OS High Sierra. Visit Apple World Today on the web at appleworld.today and please subscribe to our YouTube channel.